Hi there. It's Sue, and thanks for joining me for Tips and Talk Day. These are bite-sized topics that I pull from community questions and things that I'm observing in the world of handmade small business. If you'd like to submit a topic, DM me over on Instagram at giftbizunwrapped. Before we get started, I'm going to share a secret with you. One of my superpowers is the ability to get an enormous number of tasks and projects done each and every week. I easily meet deadlines, rarely forget to do something, and know at the start of each day what needs priority attention and action. Type A personality? (laughs) Yes. And a follow through on the Kobe assessment, which should have given me the clue. But it wasn't until people started commenting to me that I realized not everyone naturally knows how to do this. It's the biggest single contributor to the growth I always see in my businesses, without spending hours and hours working either. It's about focus and doing the right things efficiently. Prompted by all the questions on how I do this, I went about finding a way to help you perform at a higher level too. I analyzed my methods and formalized my process, which is one many of my coaching clients now also follow. You can use it too. It's all part of a tool called the Inspired Daily Planner, made specifically for gifters, bakers, crafters, and makers. Make no mistake, this is not your ordinary planner. First off, it comes with a video explaining my productivity strategy. And the physical planner isn't dated, so you can start using it the second it arrives at your doorstep. And that's not all. Included for each day is a motivational or business building tip, and plenty of space to capture and book in time for to-dos, scheduled appointments, and all those ideas that are now getting lost. You can watch the video for free and then get your inspired daily planner at giftbizunwrapped.com forward slash inspired. One thing that I've never talked about before is that I'm not a great camera person. I'm not the one taking pictures on vacation or at family events, but luckily my husband is. Back in the day, we had one of those super big, heavy VHS video cameras. You remember those that you would hold on your shoulder? <laughs> oh gosh. And today, Michael still uses his professional Nikon with all the lenses. For me, it's just my iPhone, if even that. I swear, we'd have few, if any, pictures or videos of the kids when they were little if it weren't for Michael, my personal photographer and videographer. I much prefer being in the moment, taking in what's right in front of me and enjoying the experience versus capturing it for later. I don't like being bothered with lighting or getting the perfectly angled shot instead of having the experience. I guess some people can do both at the same time, but that's not me. So when social media came around, it was not a natural fit. Even today, it's more of an effort than a joy to take photos. But I will admit, I appreciate having them later to reflect back on. Yet still, it's always a struggle between taking the pictures and engaging wholeheartedly in the events. What has never been a problem for me is having my picture taken. I don't shy away from a camera pointed my way. Still shots or video, all fine with me. I'm a ham, I guess. I can play it up for the camera as long as my hair is done and makeup is on, that is. But I've even relaxed on that a bit, too, over the years. This leads me to the topic of today and how it relates to your business photos. Let me start off by asking you this. What do you do when a camera points your way? Probably the same as most people. Do you find yourself totally changing your behavior? It's like, okay, now you have to be on and you analyze and adjust so that you're captured in exactly the right way. In your mind, you might run through a checklist. Stand straight, turn your head to the best angle, tongue to the top of the mouth. Do you know that trick? Supposedly, if you smile and press your tongue to the roof of your mouth, 
it pulls on your neck muscles so that they stay smooth and taut. If you look closely, you'll see people doing this and exaggerate it a little bit so it looks totally fake. But anyway, it is a trick. And while these tricks make for great photos that show your best self and ones that you don't shy away from or are embarrassed about, they're not the best ones for your business. What's natural for you to do when a camera is pointed your way may send some of your potential customers in the opposite direction. The irony is, we have greater trust in those who are natural and don't put up a front. Regardless of the quality of the photo or video, they're seen as more credible because they aren't acting or staged. Now, before any of you start sending me messages about this, yes, there are times when you may want a more formal photo, like for headshots and such. But this type of posing doesn't serve you well when you're trying to communicate who you are in the day-to-day to attract business. So I am begging you to stop posing, let's say formal posing, when a camera points your way. As an example, Let's imagine a picture of you and your significant other on vacation. Which picture do you think would be more interesting? You two sitting at a table side by side, straight and rigid, just smiling right into the camera? Or one where you're toasting each other, or even holding up your glasses to the camera, with natural expressions and moves that bring the viewer into the scene with you? That's what you're aiming for with the images you create for social media, in emails, and on your website. Natural images that get across your personality, which includes emotions and tells a story. Okay, easier said than done, right? Here's an idea to help you the next time a camera points in your direction and you find yourself starting to stiffen up. This takes a little prep that we can do right now. I want you to think of three adjectives that define how you want people to talk about you and your products or business. Do you want to be known as being sassy, a down-home country girl, the professionally skilled creator? Do you want to be seen as formal and proper or free spirit? What are your adjectives? My three adjectives specifically for Gift Biz Unwrapped are informative, friendly, and helpful. Once you've got your adjectives, think of them every time you're in front of that camera. Take your mind off posing and act in a manner that reflects the characteristics you've chosen. It will make your pictures more natural and send the message you're truly trying to convey so your audience can get to know you, fall in love with you, and the products that you make. Plus, it's way less stressful and much more fun. That's a wrap. I'm a get to the point kind of girl, and this is what you can expect from these quick midweek sessions. Now it's your turn. Go out and fulfill that dream of yours. Share your handmade products with us. We want them, and they bring us both so much happiness.